start with the process of building our first Fury application. So whenever you build a new application, right, what actually happens? So let's say new, uh, sorry, new building, new UI5 application or building any software for that matter. So whenever you build any software in your career, yes, any application, maybe in the past you might have built some ABAP based application or Java based application or C program, maybe you built. So always when you build an application, it contains a certain structure that the first component starts with some kind of initialization. right where you basically load some dependencies like you do in C program you put hashtag include studio dot H right so that's what are you doing you are using this preprocessor directive to load the C library which contains functions right so this is step number one after you do this initialization then comes is your coding part in this part you will write your logic which typically includes creating a class object right creating object of a class calling some functions yes setting some attributes all that code you write in the in the coding area then you have presentation logic once your code is executed finally you have to present the data to the user so you basically give a output yeah you give a output to the user to show the data to the user now ui5 is also going to be in a very very similar way so now when it comes to the ui5 the very first thing is initialization so here is where we use something called bootstrapping. Okay, let me change the color. It will be easy for you to see. So when it comes to UI5, the very first step is called bootstrapping. What is bootstrapping? Bootstrapping is a technique through which you load the UI5 framework from the internet. So by default, your browser doesn't understand UI5. So when you start your UI5 application for the first time, the framework is not there because we are using UI5 framework. We are going to use its libraries, functions, attributes, classes. So typically this, uh, this uh, UI5 framework is not there in the browser. So what are we going to do? We're going to load it from the internet. Yeah. So we have the UI5 framework on something called CDN content distribution network so we're going to load it and this loading process is called bootstrapping and for this like in the past session you saw we use script tag with SRC and we give the CDN address yes that we will give to load the to load the UI5 framework so if in interview somebody asks what is bootstrapping bootstrapping is a process of UI5 application loading the UI5 framework at the start of our application and this usually you do in the index HTML file again I repeat bootstrapping is a process of loading SAP UI5 framework at the start of our application so all the framework relevant components the bare minimum components are loaded in our application when our application start using its libraries yes so the framework gets loaded now a framework includes libraries so what we also specify in the bootstrapping is what will be the what is the address of the framework of course <clears throat> that's the first thing then second thing would be which library we want to load <clears throat> there are a lot of libraries like mobile library layout library table library which one i want to load I can't load everything because if I load everything it will be time consuming then the third thing which you will specify is the location of your project directories 
so you are loading ui5 framework you your framework this framework is responsible to execute your application so to this framework you are going to tell where is all my files where are all my project files that's the location it will you will tell to the framework in the bootstrapping so and then fourth thing you will tell the theme so let us go back and see how can we do the bootstrapping and what is the address from where we load the ui5 framework so first of all where do we load ui5 framework what's the address we go to sdk go to documentation we go to get started quick start walk through and you see bootstrap so here is where they will tell you the address so you see here when you come down bootstrapping loading and initialization compatibility version standard variant for bootstrapping i go inside yes and here you come down you see somewhere we will see about the loading of bootstrapping loading and initializing so when we come down you can see it it is explaining each and every property out there yeah and then when you uh, look forward for you will find the variant for bootstrapping from content delivery network cdn yeah and there you see here it is this is the address so if you notice in this address they have hard coded the version you see they have hard coded the version which they are loading but i want to always load probably the latest version yes so i don't need to put this number i don't need to hard code this number so let us go back and see this in action so i will head over back to our development area where we initialize our ui5 project in the last class yeah so here in this we are just going to go to index html file yeah and here in the header we going to initialize our ui5 framework being loaded so let's come back and we say script tag src and the address https ui5.sap.com slash resources slash sap ui core dot js superb yes it's as easy as that congratulations this is called sap ui5 bootstrapping that when i start my application when i start my page this is the starting point of my application immediately it should load this framework from the internet in the browser so browser can understand things which i'm going to write then this is a framework framework contains libraries now which library you want to load so you have there's a way to tell that so the way to tell that is data sap ui lib yes. i want to load sap mobile library please yeah so let us test this part let us test our application so we come back and start ui5 serve command with the uff tooling which i taught you in the last class to just see how it looks like so i just do ui5 serve and we can just test here local host dt index html and i now go back to press f12 key on the keyboard and go to sources and here you see it has loaded ui5.sap.com wahala yes resources you see it has loaded sap mobile library wow look at that and this library contains all my all my classes cool na cool so this is how you do the bootstrapping you load the ui5 framework in the browser when your application starts so now when you use these apis these libraries these classes these functions eventually they all will be recognized by the browser so when you write javascript code which executes in the client side yeah in the browser it can understand these classes because it's loaded now yeah that's called bootstrapping now one more thing i want to add i want to also write data sap ui theme and i will load sap fiori 3 dark theme yeah 
fury three dark theme to get a dark theme and then in the body i will put a classification property sap ui body now if you remember in the past uh, you have learned about css in our training so when you put a css classification you usually come and put a style internal style and then it's a dot class name yeah and then you write all your color and background color and all that stuff right this is what we actually do yeah all of this we do but now we don't have to do this why because this code is written already inside this file inside this css file which we are loading so bye bye to this i don't need yeah yes but when i come back to my application which i am testing here and i refresh yeah wahala look at that it has changed the background color to yes light black why because of this theming experience yeah theming experience super beautiful fabulous fabulous this is how exactly we deal and work with sap ui5 theming experience yeah great so framework is loaded library is loaded theme is loaded next and last thing is to tell the ui5 framework where are all my files so all our files relevant for this project are in the web app folder that's my my root folder yeah so you can see index html file is part of web app folder so you need to give a alias name so this web app folder should be recognized with what name so like my pet name at home is anu so my name is anubhav and in my how home my 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 family members my siblings my uh, cousin uh, my cousins they all call me anu yeah that's easy to pronounce right everybody have the some pet name at home like you know my friend is there yes venkateshwara ramaswami his name is uh, pintu <laughs> they call him pintu at home yes so everybody have you know most of the people have a pet name at home so we need to give a pet name of this folder to the ui5 so that ui5 can locate all the resources of your application later point of time so we have to you can give the pet name same as web app also but usually we give a name same as id so last class i have decided the id for this project as uh, uh, as ichiko right so that we decided ichiko so i am going to now give the same so we will say hey ui5 my data sap ui resource roots is equal to and it will be a json so put a json curly braces and i say that ichigo is the name of my current working directory so my index html's current working directory is web app so hey ui5 from now on the web app folder will be recognized as ichigo so whenever i say ichigo dot some file address that is what uh, with it means that i want to refer to the web app folder so please look a file which starts with ichigo yeah look that file in the web app folder this is called uh, namespace this concept is called namespace so this is your namespace now it's a unique identifier of the project plus it is also telling the ui5 where my files are where my project files are relevant for this project you can also put web app it's up to you it's up to you but often we put a name a unique identifier which we give even in the manifest so that completes the concept of working with ui5 bootstrapping i hope you all understood every single component line by line no copy paste of code never learn from trainers who teach you copy paste they are cheating with you because they don't explain they just copy paste show the output and run away that's not learning learning is when you write every single line of code yes so that was the concept of working with sap ui5 boots strapping Thank you.